Hey guys, it's Dot. How we doing? Uh, I think you are doing better than I am. I don't know what happened to my house. Um, if this had been a multiplayer server, I would have said somebody griefed us. Um, I don't even know if I have, uh, do I have a way down here? My ladder's still here. Oh God, there's my dog. Okay. Wow, that's freaky. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. How did he not see me? Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute, my hearts. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm in creative mode. That's why he's not attacking me. Well, how'd that happen? Yeah, you look stupid. I know. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Holy cow. Talk about dead. No, seriously, guys. Ah, uh, I did this. This is actually the copy of the world. And when I make a copy, uh, I can then build stuff in the copy of the world just to see how they would work in our world. And as I was super tired one day, I just sat in here and, you know, it's kind of wild when you're in creative mode um, because it's incredibly easy to uh, destroy stuff. So, yeah, I was going nuts. I had actually mistakenly deleted my bed, um, which really screwed me up because then when I died, which is very hard to do actually in creative mode these days, um... I ended up going way back to the original place. From what I can tell, the only way you can die in creative is to dig a hole all the way past bedrock and fall into that, like, no, no land. Oh, hello, where am I now? Oh, that's funny. Okay, we'll keep going. Wow. Lots of stuff. But, yeah, eventually, here we go. There we go. Bang. I'm dead. That is the only way you can die. You can't burn up. You can't drown. You can jump off of massive sized cliffs. I've jumped off of this thing. Nothing kills you. Um, as you saw there a bit ago, I, I, I took an almost direct hit from a creeper. I've actually had two creepers around me blow up like as close as that dog is and nothing so I thought that was really weird but anyways what did I do here why are we here why did I why did I screw this up well it's to show you a little bit about what might be coming in our own world you can see here I've reconfigured this area to be flat up until the bottom of the hill I want to I want to come here you come here yeah stay there um just so that we could see that we can now make an entrance way straight up here. And we can come into our working railway. Um, like I said, I had deleted mistakenly my, um, my last version of a creative test world. So I ended up having to go back to those videos. I think it was like 250 and 251 and watch the videos and pause constantly just to kind of refresh my memory about how this entire thing got put together. But as you can see, I was able to put together another mock-up in this copy of the world to show you what we were able to do. Um, you can see over here that this one doesn't go anywhere, so I've just capped it off with stone. Um, however, this guy goes out a ways. And uh, if I come over here, you can see what I've done here. Um, I've created these stone pillars, similar to that one I did in the other world, to help su uh, support this little bridge line. 
So let's just take a look at what this guy can do. Um, I believe it's the switch. Should bring a card up right here. Yep. Then I can hit this, and we're off. And you can see, um, you can see here that I'm using stairs that are upside down right there. Um, I only need one of these redstone torches to actually power this little bit of um, powered rail. I tossed the other one in there for looks. I've got lots of torches. You can actually see I put two on the back as well. So there's six torches per this thing. Um, I'm not in love with that, but it was the only way I could come upon um, figuring out a way to keep the monsters off of there. All right, if I come out here for a minute, um, so we were elevated, I came down this powered track section, which actually gave us some speed, and then kind of slammed into that wall down here. Um, this is a little interesting. I tried to mimic the look of our boathouse onto this, and this is just a little receive-only rail station, uh, rail stop. So if there's a cart here, um, I can get in it and push this button and it'll send me back. I've got um, extra carts in this chest, so I have a, a way of getting stuff to and from. I can I can do this. I didn't put a door on here, um, you know, I, just because I didn't have time and I didn't want to mess around with that. You know, I could clean this up. I got a little pad here. Um, I had originally played around with the idea of creating uh, half of the station that I have back there, you know, where this thing could, could go underground and hit a Pez and do all this stuff. And then I got to thinking, you know, for, for that instance, um, you know, we're going to come here for basically only one reason, and that is uh, the sand that lives over there. So really, I see us having a, another railway system that we could start here, go there, and come back but that would be for another project. And then I've got my boathouse over there as well. Um, but let's just come over here and we'll take a look at this. Um, this guy is set up the same way as these tall guys are, except it's down here at ground level. I've got the pretty stone from water level down one block. And then again, look, notice no bubbles, I won't die. And this is kind of a killer here. I've got a three by three pillar of cobble that runs all the way down and it's really dark to see down here but you can see it here I mean some places in this water were quite deep so um, you know talk about realistic for here the sucker is solid cobble all the way up to the clean stone which goes up here to help support the rail system. Um, might be a little bit of overkill, but I think it looks nice. Um, like I said, I'm not loving the idea of these torches, but that was uh, the quick way I was able to get rid of mobs, because as I was doing my testing, skeletons, zombies, spiders were just popping up up there. And um, even had a creeper up there I tried to shoot with a bow and arrow, and he blew up a whole section of my bridge that was not fun. Um, so maybe light stone might be a better way to do it. Like maybe where this this one and this one are, just put a piece of light stone, and then get rid of all all the torches. Um, that's one possibility. I've also been toying around with the idea of somehow creating a ring or an arch over this. I kind of like this look. Um, you know, now that we have the ability of using you know the backward stairs. Um, from afar, it kind of looks almost like um, Poseidon's uh, staff. Uh, I'm trying to get somewhere. Here, let's go into fly mode here. Here we go. Um, you know, it's kind of a kind of a neat look. You know, it's spanning the water, so I thought that kind of looked wild. All right, so let's uh, we'll take a jaunt back, and uh, come on. There we go and see how this works, all right? You've, you've done this simple version before. Um, each section is actually 22 blocks distant, and I think they said that one power track on a level flat surface will push you 24 blocks before you kind of run out of steam, you know, run out of any kind of, you know, good, good speed steam. Um, 
you'll actually see that this last this last full height one and we'll come we'll come and take a look at that and see how okay now I'm having some issues here watch um, see it's still on the level area so I was still playing around with um, if I push this guy where it was supposed to go right here then we see that he goes back where it's supposed to go um, I, I've toyed around with taking this one out and putting regular track in so it didn't need to slow down I've toyed around with putting another piece of, of you know power track in um, I can get it to end up over here I can get it to end up here I'm having a hard time figuring out the right scenario to end up right in here so we'll have to keep playing with that to find that out but let's come down the stairs for a minute and um, we'll come over here so you can see what I've done over here to kind of kind of mimic this this one out here is the first one that's actually sitting completely in water and you know it's barely I mean I think there was actually dirt right here but I took this one out and um, you know it follows the same thing there's a little bit of cobble down there um, and then I got this one which kind of looks like it's almost built into the wall and it's got the same thing on this side um, it butts right up against dirt so I was okay there um, it did interfere with this entrance so uh, we'll have to only put one door in here um, possibly uh, I've got an extra one here so if I do want a double door I might I might do that um, however because of what zombies do these days with wooden doors um, I may not do that who knows I may even put um, an iron door in here with a, with a lever right here and, and do it that way I, I don't know um, I didn't want to you know interfere with this um, I wasn't sure how much I was loving the idea that uh, this thing was going to be kind of spanning over stuff you know it's not exactly over the reed garden um, I wanted it high enough so it wasn't going to interfere with this um, plus I wanted it to look nice so that was the idea that I was toying around with alright what else um, I was doing a lot of weirdness in here I was toying around with where this other place could go and um, for the heck of it you see how this one comes out and makes a 90 degree and goes off that way I toyed around with the idea that what if it came out here and made a 90 degree and went this way and if I get into fly mode here and I just tried to take it straight out here and you can see you can see where I kind of chopped through the trees um, and I went I went way out there and um, came across a rather large island but I mean it was I mean quite a ways out that way um, I was able to find something that I didn't think we were gonna be able to find um, you can see here I griefed this oh something went on that actually I didn't do and I'm not sure what happened but um, right as I started griefing myself I happened to notice all the animals in our corral were gone there were no more pigs the the cow was gone the sheep and chickens down below um, were all gone so I don't know I don't know what happened like I said this was before I griefed um, so now see I'm hearing sheep oh look oh no, that's funny he must have came in yeah he must have just came in um, they were all they were all gone so I don't know I don't know what happened um, you know if it was me dying when I didn't have a bed and then that caused things to happen or something I don't know alright before we leave this I want to kinda come up and do a uh, see if we can do a quick count um, we were talking about the need to create powered tracks for use in this railway station and um, I had forgotten the recipe for power tracks well I did look it up and it does take six bars of gold for the recipe so it's uh, six bars of gold in place of where the iron would go um, a stick in the middle and redstone at the bottom center but it makes six of these so six bars six tracks okay so let's see we've got two here we've got two here that's four um, five six seven then back here we've got eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think it's 21, 22, um, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and I think, let me just see if this top one, and 35 up here. Um, okay, so just, just for the station alone, we're talking at least 35 tracks. Um, whether this one will be needed, maybe, or even another one would be needed, we, we have to toy around with that. But that's just for the station. Then, wherever we decide to go, we're going to need these. So if I even put these in, 35, 36, 37, 37, assume two more over there, 38. So let's say 40. 40 just to get the station and its immediate exit and entries done. Then you've got how many of these? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to come back down here. Nine, and ooh, 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 ooh. I want to be on. I want to be on deck. Come on, nine. All right, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And way over here, there's one more. Nineteen. Okay, so you're talking, rounded off, 20 for just the bridge. So 40 to make the station, 20 more for the bridge. So you're talking 60 just for this one location. Um, you can see over here, remember I said back when we were working on uh, the tunnel that runs underground now? You can see the water currents that got screwed up in the various attempts that I made to create uh, you know, a diagonal one and this was uh, a different version of one that came straight out you can see them right here straight out to here and then a 90 degree angle that went over to here and this was where that original pillar was when we first got to the island so that's kind of weird too um, alright so let's see let's just come over here we'll come down back to ground level um, and Let's go somewhere that's not totally destroyed. There we go. Okay, so now, now we're safe. I want to bring up a calculator. Here we go. Uh, I don't need all that power. Here we go. All right. So we said um, we said sixty power tracks, right? All right. If we're going to need sixty power tracks, and each track, no, no, no. No. Um, how do we do this? 60 tracks. Is it divided by 6? Um, why am I not thinking about this right? I want, I'm trying to figure out how much gold we're going to need here. Um, how do I get out of this totally? Come on. All right, you know what? <laughs> There's something in memory, and I can't get rid of it. There we go. Um, all right, 60, 60. It takes six to make one. Yeah, okay, all right. So we need 60 tracks. Each one track takes six gold. All right, so that's 360. All right, 360 gold... Alright, but then one recipe makes six tracks. Oh, so we're back to 60. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's not bad. So basically what we're saying is we're going to need at least a stack of gold. Okay? Um, we're at 20 minutes, so let's just see if we can continue some stuff within this realm. I'm going to open up the internet and... Uh, I want to get it so that we can see here. So bear with me in a second. Ask me later. Get out of here. These stupid add-ons. Um, 
Yeah, this is a goofy episode. I apologize. I wanted to see if we can get this whole thing. We'll just I'm just resizing within our limits here. All right. Um, I want to jump over to the wiki. The wiki. Where are you? Minecraft wiki. Wiki wiki wiki. Hello. Here it is. All right. Um. I want to look up gold. Uh, oops. It would help if I spelled it right. Okay. And this is going to help us figure out what we're going to have to do. This disambiguation page lists articles associated with the same title. Oh, that's funny. Gold is a rare mineral. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um found underground or in the first beta by killing zombie pigmen. Um, renewable resource zombie pigmen. Alright, gold ore. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to gold ore. Alright, so what's it going to say about gold ore? This is where I really wish we had a pickaxe that had um, fortune on it. Commonly found beside stone blocks deep underground Usually in a vein of two to nine, sometimes with up to eighteen if two veins happen to spawn together. Alright, that's not bad. And as few as one that was supposed to be a gold ore is occupied by a generated structure. It only appears in the bottom thirty two layers of the map from levels two to twenty eight. Gold ore's occurrence underground is at point one four three seven percent. On average, there are seven and a half gold ores per chunk. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, wow. Um, well, that's going to suck. Okay. Um, dum, da, dum, dum, dum. So we're going to need it. Does it say? I'm sorry. What did it say back here? It had to be iron or diamond pickaxe. Yeah. Okay. Well... What is that going to do for us? Um, well, we've got a couple possibilities. We could go back down to uh, the bedrock. Uh, do you remember we were doing a branch mine down at the bottom of that one uh, that one what do you call it? Um, and it wasn't here, it was in the house. Um, Oh, for Pete's sakes, why am I coming up with a blank? The green guys, um, not creepers. Uh, ba 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 ba. Hello, hello, hello. There's a sheep in my house. Okay. Um. Why? 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 Um. Oh, for Pete's sakes. You know what I'm talking about? The things that give us slime balls. Um. You know, we built these huge rooms. Hello, zombie. I don't know why you're here. Um, but way down here, we had started a branch mine. And, um, you know, we've got this whole section we haven't even done yet. And did we even finish? Let's speed it up here. I think we did. I haven't been down here in a while. Yeah, all right. So we finished that side. So we've got that whole side that we could toy around with. Um, as well as the possibility of um, going off continuing in that direction. And then, um, you know, we could go out this way with a series of tunnels and then, um, you know, maybe going off this way behind this area and making a few more that went back that way. So there's one possibility. Um, the other possibility and um, actually, can I do this? Come on, I want to. I want to get real f fast up. Here we go. Um, the other possibility is here. Um, if we can continue to map out, uh, you know, or find, where is it? F three. Uh, yeah. Look at the look at the Y. Okay. 38, that's not too bad. So, 
there's the possibility that, you know, just like we see here, wherever these um, abandoned mines are, there could be, you know, exposed minerals like gold, and I have seen them um, without us having to dig them out. Um, problem is, you would probably spend as much time just exploring these, uh, you know, in order to find where you might see some gold. Um, as it would, look here, here we go. Um, and let's see, that's one, two. So that was only two pieces, okay? Um, oh, here's some more. Three, four, five, six, ooh, seven. All right, seven. They said it could be up to nine. I think that was actually five because I was adding them to the other two. So that would be seven pieces right there that we found. So that's another possibility for finding gold. Um, the third possibility, like they said, is we could go to the nether and um, you know start going nuts killing zombie pigmen. Um, we've got enough stuff to make you know some bows and arrows, so that would be easy. The problem with them is that they don't often drop gold ingots. They often drop the little gold nuggets. And you can actually take, uh, is it nine? Nine gold nuggets and create one gold ingot. So, you know, that's another possibility. Um, but honestly, I think... I think given the fact that we don't want to have to spend forever getting it, it might also be more beneficial just to, uh, you know, dig through, you know, do that business. Um, we'll have to see. Um, another thought, and I, and I did do this, is to go all the way back to our original house and, um, oh, look at this. Look at this. It leads right in, right into the ravine, um, and find where uh, we used to be. Now, where I, I was trying to find. Oh, that's funny. Oh, this is a different ravine, I think. Yeah, this is a different ravine. Um, you know, the old house. And then uh, see if we left gold in there. I did go and do that, and um, honestly, it wasn't much. Um, I found a chest that had three. Then I found a chest that had, uh, oh, oh, I, uh, I know where that is. That's our spawning room. Okay. Um, let's see how bad we're going to do here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, here we go. Oh, we were close. Oh, look at that. We could have done that. Um, yeah, I think I found six. Six at the old house. So, um, you know, we don't have much, okay? So, we'll do what we can to create what we can. And then we're going to get started, all right? All right, guys. Um, we're almost at 30 minutes. This was kind of a weird episode that kind of give you an update on, you know, what I thought we could possibly do here and what, you know, this thing could very possibly look like. Um, you know, these take a while to make, but we've got tons and tons of cobble, um, you know, both from creating that vault over there as well as taking down that tower. So we've definitely got, you know, the possibilities for that. Um, it just takes time, you know. We had to make those stairs. Um, getting the stairs in that position, you know, that was a little interesting. You have to put a block right here, then you have to put a block right here, um, which is pretty easy. But then, and it was easy to do in creative, but this is going to be a killer in um, survival. You need to get down underneath it so that when I place this block, I have to place it on the bottom of the block that sat where this torch is. Then get rid of those two blocks. Well, look, how am I supposed to do that when I'm way the heck up here? So, yeah, that's going to that's gonna prove interesting. Um, so that one might come in stages as well. Okay? 
All right, so I am going to say goodbye to you for here, and we'll see you next episode in our regular world. All right? Okay, guys, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.